Now from the CFJC Newsroom, here is Bill O'Donovan. Good afternoon. A bus tour is planned for tomorrow to give Lytton residents an opportunity to see the destruction caused by the June 30th fire. Aaron MacArthur has more on what they will encounter on their visit. The damage near total. Houses burned to the foundations. There are buildings standing, but only hollow shells. In front, the remains of parked cars. The heart of Lytton is gone. From the west side of the Fraser River, Casey Paul watched the inferno destroy the community. Right down below that end, down to the river, that's where the flames started. And it swept over this way. The village of Lytton detailed the destruction in a four-page news release. Some houses survived the fire, but there is no power, water, or sewer connections. The sewage treatment plant wasn't destroyed, but it's non-functional. The water infrastructure is also damaged, but at this point, no one can tell how badly. A property-by-property -property assessment will be needed. Oh my God, no. According to the village, the fire spread so quickly that by the time the mayor was told the volunteer fire department was battling flames on the edge of town, the town was on fire. Everyone had to get out. For people who fled the flames, there are still images, memories they will never forget. The closest to the bank, all those houses were in one, one form or another starting to burn, and then you could hear propane, like a geyser. I was hoping everybody got out because it is so quick. Many in the village believe a freight train started this fire. On Wednesday, CP trains were rolling past the charred remains of the village and CN crews working furiously to repair the damage to the train trestle across the Thompson River. Like last Wednesday morning, uh, it was around 11 or 12 o'clock, I said to my wife uh, that, you know, why are we still running trains in, in weather like this? And, you know, it should be stopped, you know. The village and the Lytton First Nation taking care of people who haven't left. Casey Paul getting food delivered every two days. People who have lost everything, helping out neighbors who need it. Do you think they'll rebuild it? Oh, yeah, for sure. They'll always be here. We're here. We've been here a long time and we'll continue. The displaced will get a chance to see this destruction from inside the exclusion zone Friday. Bus tours are being organized in order for people to get a sense of what they have lost. Aaron MacArthur, Global News, Lytton. A wildfire that popped up south of Kamloops yesterday is still out of control. The Napier Lake